Okay, let's learn how we can um, measure using a protractor. So here's a sample of some of the homework questions for this week, and I'm going to use my protractor to measure the angles. I'll just start with A. I'm going to place my protractor on the page, and I'm going to make sure that I center the center of my protractor on the vertex of the angle. So let's remember, we have two arms on each angle, and we have the vertex, which is the corner or the elbow of the angle. So I'm going to center my protractor on the vertex. And I also want to make sure that one arm is extending right along this baseline of my protractor so that I'm getting a very straight line there. Okay, now I'm going to follow the other arm and see where it intersects with the scale on my protractor. So I can see here, it goes right through the 90, that's right at the middle. So my first angle is 90 degrees. But I could probably have inferred that just by looking at it here on the page. All right, let's measure this second angle here, angle B. Again, I'm going to center the um, midpoint of the protractor on the vertex. Make sure that this one arm extends straight along the baseline. And then I'm going to follow the other arm to see where it um, intersects with the outside of my protractor. Now, I printed this off and it printed kind of small. So I do need a bit of help. I'm just going to take my ruler and make sure I get a very straight line. Um, to extend this vertex. So that I can measure it nice and accurately with my protractor. And I see here that it passes through this spot halfway between 140 and 130 or halfway between 45 and 50. So now how do I know which scale I need to use on my protractor, the inner scale or the outer scale? Well, really, it just depends on where your other arm is. So my other arm extends along here to either zero or 180. I look at where it starts, where it's on zero. So if it's on zero on the inner scale, I'm going to use the inner scale, okay? If it was on zero on the outer scale, then I would use the outer scale to measure it. Okay. In this case, it's on the inner scale, and so my angle is 135 degrees. Okay. All right. Let's do angle C. Let's try centering my protractor this way with my um, arm that's going to be on the baseline going in the opposite direction. I'm just going to extend these arms a bit here to make it easier to demonstrate the protractor. Okay. Center the protractor on the vertex. And I have one line, one arm extending along the baseline of the protractor. Okay. Now you see this time when I look at where this angle or where this arm goes um, on the baseline, I see that my zero is on the outer scale. So this time I want to use the outer scale to measure the size of this angle. Okay, because I don't want to count backwards from 180 degrees. I want to count forwards from zero degrees. So I'm going to follow along until I find the point where my other arm intersects with the there, that's easier to see, with the outer scale on my protractor. And this one's at 70 degrees. So I'll write 70 degrees there. So now you see we've done the first three questions of your homework.
um, to demonstrate how this works. Now let's look at how to use a protractor to measure angles in a polygon. We know the word poly means many and gone means shape or side. So a polygon is a shape with many sides. Could be three, four, five, 12. We're not specific when we use the word polygon. So if we are going to measure the angles on the inside of a polygon, we're going to use our protractor in the exact same way. So let me try it out here on this triangle. So again, I, why don't I do it this way? I center my protractor exactly on the vertex, make sure that one side of the shape is passing on the baseline. Like I don't wanna center it like this because I'm going to get an inaccurate measure, okay? One of the lines of the shape or one of the arms of the angle always has to be centered on the baseline and goes through your lines there, okay? And now I'm going to see where my other side extends and once again I've printed it and it's small I'll use this ruler to help me if I don't want to draw the extension of that line I can just use the ruler to extend the line and we see it goes straight through the number 70 so the angle d is equal to 70 degrees and you repeat that process for all of the other angles inside those shapes.